Keep watching Charis TV. The problem is, are you sure God sent us to you? Are you sure? Because if you are sure, we'll see you believing. If I say you have received this, ah, you are still searching for it. There's no prayer of thanksgiving. Are you sure God sent us to you? On Sunday, I was speaking with my brother. Let's give an example by my brother. Who was around on Sunday? You were around. You remember my brother? I came to him and said, Brother. I said, What? You are afraid to marry. Uh, Come you are afraid. You are afraid to marry. Eh? Where's your wife? Uh, she's around. Where? She's at church today in Pretoria. Huh? She's in Pretoria. I say you are afraid to marry. I don't understand you, man of eh? God. Eh? I don't understand you. I don't want to speak in public. I get it a little bit. Huh? I get it a little bit. I can't hear what you say. I'm trying to get it a little bit of what you are trying to say to me. Oh, he said he's trying to understand what you are saying to him. Yes. Because there's a confusion. Yes. It's not true. It's true. There's a serious confusion. And I don't want to talk about it. Yes. Uh, because already you have mentioned it. But I will see you. Okay. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's a confusion. Yes. You, you, you are a wife. And then let me put it that way. But I will see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Nobody died. There's nobody who died that was close to you. Man of God, about the prophecy of uh, death, it's been like a. Uh, four times to five times now giving the same prophecy about death in my family i was talking about that yes you asked me about the first one it came to pass the second one and then when you came to me for the third one i said no you have already told me about the spirit of death in my family and then can Two weeks after that. Let me, I want to hear what he's saying. He said you came to him the first time and the second time. You spoke about the spirit of death in his family. The first one you said it, yes, somebody died. The second one, somebody died. So now you are speaking about it. You spoke the third time about the spirit of death in his family. And on the third time, when you speak about it, in, in a week time, my sister's son passed away. Kamrao, after speaking the third time about the spirit of death, the son of the sister passed on. Let's underline my word. You are free to marry. Yes. So, I'll see you. Thank you, man of God. Because you say, you say you are married. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, man of God. You say you are married. And me, I'm saying you are free to marry. Thank this, you, Lord. This is spirit. <laughs> I tell my brother, so we're talking about it today in the office there. I said, well, brother? Man of God was asking me if I am afraid to get married. The first thing that brother answered, you remember? Who remember? You remember? Yes. He said what? He said he's married, but he's fighting with the wife. He says he's married, but he's fighting with the wife. I turned again, I came, brother. You say you are married. I see a spirit of death. 
I say, brother, are you afraid? Don't be afraid to get married. Today, you can speak what you was telling me today. You say what? I said to you, men of God, uh, when you started speaking to me, you were talking in parable. But the, the way I understand things was, like my answer was, no, I'm not afraid. I'm just waiting for this um, court proceedings to end up. Did you say that? No, when I'm, no, I was talking with you. No, when I was talking you, with you. He said, this. if you remember what he said, he said, I'm married. That's what he said. I said, I'm hearing you. But I'm hearing, I must tell you, do not be afraid, what? To get married. Yes. And I said, and there's a spirit of what? Death. Of death. Brother came to me and said, ah, oh, my wife said, she said what? When on, you're coming to church? On that faithful Sunday in the morning, she said to me, you must pray hard so that they must just give us a, a date for... For divorce. For divorce. You hear that? The wife said, brother, you're going to church, yes. Pray hard so that God must give us a date of divorce. And pastor at church, he said what? Do not be afraid to marry. Are you sure we have been said that to you? The wife here say, Pastor, brother, my husband, pray, eh? You must pray hard so that God, when he answers you, must be given what? A date of what? Of, of a divorce. And the pastor say, do not be afraid to do what? To marry. So, Today I was telling you, brother, you must not talk too much. God will give you a right woman. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, sit down. Okay. Okay. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? Because if I come here and tell you that, hey, you, you are divorcing with whom, whom? You are what, 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 what? And hey, 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 hey. My brother is thinking a lot. This man is telling me things in parable. This was a direct message. Okay, this person wants to divorce me. Oh, I must marry. So you have to come here now. My brother must come here and say, Hallelujah. <laughs> he, must, he must worship God now. <laughs> Look here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now, Sometimes, can I tell you this? Sometimes we are married with people we are not supposed to marry. Yeah. I'm just giving you an example of what we are talking about. And now your wife says, eh, Munawaka, who feels like a king, who rappel, who rebarfe date, Yao Rikaukan. Because if it is me, I'm hearing something like that, I will say, well, oh, thank God. Because there are some things you are crying for, and you are not, you're not even born with that. Are you born with that? Eh? Satan is just trying to grip, grip your spirit. Satan wants to grab your spirit. I want to tell you something that you need to know. When a person leaves you, he's giving you a blessing for a better person than her. Amen. Don't be the one who starts. Don't be the one who starts. When a person says, Hey, when I saw you, hey, John, John, when I saw you, how do you feel? You must say, Thank God, thank God, how do you feel? But very soon, the same person will be surprised you have got someone more beautiful than this person. But if not, you'll be just saying, Hey God, but why? Hey John John, hey John John, hey John John, hey John John, 
Because you don't know how God works. You don't know how God works. He must remove what is not worthy and bring what is right. Why do you give yourself depression? Why do you give yourself depression? You need to know if this is from God. This, then you will take it very seriously. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah. Have you ever found you are like this? The whole night. Like a Luroa. Like a Luroa. Eh? Undrope si phone. Like a Luroa. And I'm sure Undrope si phone. Which I would have tried to talk about the And when I'm on your keyboard, oh. You know, yeah, you have people. You say, I can go to I can Something small. Can you see you don't know where you're going? If you know, you will ask her, is this person appointed by, by God? For me, tell me about. Are you appointed for, by God for me? So you people who are trying to do business this year, pray a lot. Pray a lot. Pray a lot. God bless you. Even you who want to get married or marry, pray a lot. Pray a lot. Pray a lot. 